I don't know what the hell that was, but, you know, Streamlabs have been fucking up for the past, like, day and a half or so, so, yay! But anyway, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing alright. Last we left off, we got confronted with a fucking hag, and, um, now we have to, uh, do some things, which includes healing our party. I don't know if I want a long rest in between or no. So, it, it depends on how much health we come back with. So let's go back to camp. Or, actually, spell slots, not even health. I can just check everybody's spell slots. Because health is recoverable. Spell slots have issues. How much gold do I fucking have? Okay, I've got almost 4,000. I wish I could sell things to that skeleton. To that necromancer skeleton. Okay, so I now have that. Sweet. Okay, so... Hello, skeleton man. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a resurrection? Then thou must return with the proper payment. Yeah, I've got the proper payment for both. Shadow heart, or oh, just all. This is the price of balance. Well counted. I recommend keeping thy distance for a moment. That's fine. Nothing in there. I I kind of sort of want to leave um Lazel behind and switch her out for Gale, but see the problem with that is I think she has the highest HP 17 14 Oh, have I not upgraded either of them? I don't know, but let's check Shadow Heart. She kind of needs the rest. He doesn't have spell slots, but he has eight superiority dice, so that's good. And she has like eleven or so, so we can we can go back. I think we can do this without uh, needing a rest. I can just walk into home. This gets better and better. Okay. This is a stairs? I have to click to use the stairs? Um. Who's screaming? Wait and why? What the hell is going on? That's an autosave, okay. Something's going on. Oh, 
Uh huh. What the fuck? What is this place? Wait, what did the Sterion notice? What did he notice? My God, okay. Up here. Stop. Please. Please. Um, I guess we'll talk to them, him, her. No, no, don't look. Mustn't look, mustn't see. What? I see it. I see what's to come. See what? Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. Skull splitting, knife twisting, gut spilling. All future. All bad. All. Gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please. Please. Please, please, please! Ah! No! Stop! Trick! 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 They're the monster! Monster! For mind dripping! Flesh peeling! Mind flayer! Oh god. Take a deep breath and roar! Look at me, I'm not a mind flayer. Um. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Don't Maybe look. if I talk to don't. him as Shadowheart. No. No! Don't look. Mustn't look, mustn't see. Okay, nothing. Stop. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. What happened last time? Do you opened? Come on, open up. There's no time to Images chat. splash. A man cowering. A bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, removing limb by painstaking limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. All right, is there another way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. All right, let's see what this does. Can I make, I should have checked. Holy shit, okay. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Away, away. Okay, so. Well, first of all, where is this door? Don't look. Don't. Whispering mask. Stop. Let's let's take Please. one. Why not? Please. You feel the barest hint of life. Wait, what? From within the door. 
So how do I get look. use? You feel crushing waves of fear as a presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. You see the gallery, its walls lined with the hag's victims, their bodies and minds twisted beyond root. Flee, you feel it cry. Yeah, not afraid. A weapon screams. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petter. Um. You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Come on. Run. Ah, son of a bitch, fine. The door remains firmly closed. Okay, so what about lockpick? Good. Because, like, we just agreed for it to let me through, and hint of life oh my god, from within the door. You feel the barest hint of life from within. So, what the hell am I supposed to do? Don't look. I I don't get it. Blinded elf. Use what is my dearest Efren. He begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. Okay. I mean, I still don't understand because I, because I, 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 I spoke to the door, and it basically agreed that it was okay. Stop! Please, please! Away. Away. Okay. I don't get it. Hold on. Oh, no, no, don't talk to him. What you need now? Not now. Um, switch to. Stop. Stop. Please. Hide. Please. Wait, what? I can't. Uh, there we go. Away. Pickpocket. Oh wow, that's a. Don't look. Steal. There we go, and that one was way too close for comfort. There we go. Away. So. Don't look. Don't. You feel the barest hint of life. But, okay, so what am I supposed to do? Please. Please. Away. Away. Use. Can I do something with this? Don't look. Rank slip. Wait a minute. Use. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. Use. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Lovely! But how do I get past the door? Do I need to just, like, attack the door? I don't think attacking the door would do anything. Don't. 
Wait a minute. Hold on. Because I picked up the other one. So what if I do this? Equipped. Mask suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. And let your dear old Auntie Ethel look after you. Oh no. Don't. So I don't see what. Please. Please. Oh God. Stench of rot is a slap to the face. Suddenly she is there, beside you, behind you, inside you. Yes, I have you now, Petal. Don't worry. Auntie is going to take good care of you. Son of a bitch. Continue. It's the mask. Take it off, you fool. None more. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to kill myself. Try this <laughs> critical miss. Oh, my God! <laughs> Shit. All right, fine. Are you going to do something? I, I don't understand. I, okay. Oh god, she's using my supplies! <laughs> Jesus, can I not get like... No, no, no. Okay, this is bad. Bad ish. Uh, let's do Lazelle first. This is knocking conscious in action. All right, and nope. Did hit? Nope. Did her? Did him? God damn you! Don't look. Don't. Shit. Nope, nope. Okay. Now, how do I remove the mask? Oh God. Please. Please. Wait. Wait. 
Yeah, I'm not doing that, but let's take these. Close. I can't believe that makes me count as an enemy now. No, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, dear Lord. Well, that was a utter failure. Yeah, load. Okay, so, back, and it loaded us in here. That's fine. Don't look. Don't it's time to see where, oh, oh God, it's frozen a little bit. It's frozen a little bit. Uh, frame rate drop. <laughs> Come on. I can't have gone far. Okay. So let's try this. What is this place? It's a hag's lair. Don't look. Can I actually like Don't. take the mirror? Stop. Never mind, I cannot. So let's, uh, let's try talking to it again. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. No, images flash. Yep, yeah, yeah, we know. Becoming flee. You feel it cry. A scene appears where scream. Um... You see an image of Let's see if I can get it to open up again. Flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. Oh, lovely. Okay. Plus six, plus six. That didn't work. The door remains firmly closed as the presence shrinks. Twisting with fear and despair. Okay, so the door is transparent. It might be an illusion. Can I just. Yep, just walk through. Think we found the hag. Or we found Mask of Terror. Oh, oh, people, people under the hag's control. Okay, probably should have rested for the spell slots. What do we roll for initiative? Who is rolling what? What did he just cast? Whatever it is, we passed the saving throw. Oh, we can check uh, Curse of Regret. Oh, Lord, I don't even know what the hell that is. She's not in the same initiative. Okay. 
good. Oh, let's go back to Shadowheart and see if... What is it? Survival Instinct? Let's just use it for right now. Yeah, I figured that was going to be a miss. Oh, it's... What the fuck just happened? Oh, is that what the curse does? It gives us damage per, uh... Okay. Oh, they're passing wisdom saves. Or failing wisdom saves. To get out of her control. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it! Okay, and what ability is that that allows him to just attack right after I do? Okay. Not too much else I can do. I won't hurt them. Okay, he passed a wisdom save, please. Nope, okay, that's fine. This Megatrix. Damn it! Passed. So, who's up? Sterion, we're gonna have you do the assault. Okay, that didn't... Jesus! Oh my god! action for Misty Stab. Can I back up? I can't. Okay. They have to keep passing these saves. Understood. Okay, they're dead. Ah, shit! Okay, so we really probably should have gone back and done some, uh, some resting. Um, let's try... No, no, no. No, no. Shit. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, that's lovely. And that requires a bonus action, which you can't do because I accidentally fucked it up. It would have been great if they passed. Jesus. 
Oh my god. So lesson learned, we're gonna um we're gonna actually just like go back to camp, sleep, then come back. Alright, we're in. So let us um go to camp. Can I end the day with my party member is in a dangerous zone, so do I just, what, go back upstairs? Now can I end the day? This counts as a danger zone? Oh my god. Oh, maybe I have to step out? Yes. Something's wrong. I feel... I feel... What the... Darkness, protect me. Oh, shit. Is it happening now? Oh, God. Don't just say... Don't just stand there, Azeroth. Say something! What the fuck? No. I'm fine. Forget it. I... I don't know. Uh... Could it be the tab bowl? That's right. I'm fine. It's past whatever it was. And stop looking at me like that. I'm not sprouting tentacles just yet. I said I don't know. Forget it. I don't like that. That was not great. Oh, where'd all my companions go? Alright, Gale wants to talk. Let's see what he needs. Ah, good evening to you. I take it you're here to pick me up on that bedtime story you were promised. Marvelous. It's a story full of answers long overdue. Okay. It's the story of a man who fell in love with a goddess. Very well, I'll play along or gale me, Gale. Thank you. Once upon a time, not quite that long ago, there lived a wizard in a tower. The wizard was what one might call a prodigy. Who, from an early age, could not only control the wee, but compose it like a musician or a poet. Such was his skill that it earned him the attention of the Mother of Magic herself, the Lady of Mysteries, Mistra. Uh, what did Mistra's attention feel like? He sounds like he, a very talented individual. He was, <laughs> even though it was in Mistra's affections that his true power lay. Perhaps it was not quite love, but you see, the wizard was but a very young man. It was most certainly love to him. Mistress showed him the secrets beneath the veils. The gossamer veils first, draped across the weave. The delicate veils next, draped across her body. Chosen one, she whispered. She slipped them off completely. 
You're telling me the wizard made love with a, to a goddess? Veils draped across the weave? Question mark? Finally, the story is getting interesting. Yes. Until one day, all too soon, the whisper stopped. Goddess spurned the mortal. The veils were drawn once more. And the wizard was left behind, heartbroken. Poor wizard, what happened next? I hate to say it, but he really could have seen this coming. Like so many of the heartbroken, he did something infinitely foolish. One has to think big if one seeks to win back a goddess. So the wizard thought big. Here goes. Once upon a time, very long ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his story for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic unleashed that day was phenomenal. Rolling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. A fragment of it was caught and sealed away in a book. No ordinary book, mind you. A tome of gateways that contained within it a bubble of astral plane. It was a fragment of primal weave locked out of time. Locked away from Mistra herself. What if, the silly wizard thought, what if after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Uh, what was the answer to his question? That's not thinking big, that's thinking like a madman. Uh, and the wizard happened to have this book on hand? The result was certainly maddening. Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound, then suddenly opened. Inside, there are no pages. Only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces, its teeth, its claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through you and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. How are you still alive? Of all things, magic. This netherese taint, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as it absorbs weave, it remains stable, to an extent. The moment it becomes unstable, however. You'll die, obviously. Rather worse, actually. It will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, and a level a city the size of Waterdeep. Jesus! Yes. <laughs> that is my truth. Finally revealed. It is this folly that led Mistra to abandon me completely. I can only hope that you won't abandon me as well. After all we've been through. Surely we can brave even this side by side. As long as you can control it, I'm fine. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. It is an honor to call you a friend. Many challenges lie ahead, but in this moment, I believe nothing to be insurmountable. What do you say? Should we call it a night? Or do you have questions for me? Uh, got a couple. Be with you. I don't know. She's my muse still, an embodiment of magic. The embodiment of love? Only if we ever meet again will I know. Understood. The orb was kept safe and inert in a pocket of astral plane, suspended in time. If I can somehow manage to expel it from my body while in the astral plane, it will be rendered inert again. Alternatively, I could learn to control its chaotic magic. That is, to succeed where I failed before. Without Mistress' favor, I don't see how that may come to pass. 
Of course, there could be different answers as well. Faerun brims with more magic than any one wizard could fathom, let alone comprehend. Who knows what outlandish solutions may yet present themselves. I mean, it's possible. We well, we can research it, look into Good it. Good night, then. And thank you. Of course. You and me are both mages of considerable power, so hey. What the hell is she struggling with? Shah's blessings upon you. Uh... We should get to know each other a little more. You seem intrigued when Halison mentioned Dark Justicars before. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. Sounds about right. Um... Uh, yes. I would have been better off getting some rest, I think. Let's leave it at that. Okay. What is it? Oh, Dark One's Blessing. Fire Potion. Fire Resistance. What do you need now? You got anything for me? You went and messed with goblins without me. If there were a tenth hell, I'd damn everyone to it. You have no idea what you've... <sighs> Forget it. We push forward, find a cure. We're a team after all. Even if it seems you forgot. We find someone to coax out our wriggly visitors. I've had just about enough. Lazel says a gift crash is the answer. It's time we check it out. Yeah, sorry about the uh not uh not inviting you to kill goblins, but didn't think it would be that big of a deal. doesn't sound like something I want to encounter. A greater master? Who or what could that be? Absolute is this master? Perhaps. Absolute may be a mere pseudonym behind which this master hides. Whatever this voice, whomever this master, it dominates dreams and unites minds. Um, let's see, you said you were going to share a bunk with Asterion? So I did, and he served his use. Most enthusiastically, I might add. I may even avail myself of his talents again, should I require it. Cool. Okay, um... Let's go to sleep. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. I can't believe I didn't see it before. How long since you killed someone? Days? Hours? Uh... It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Balls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. Why didn't you tell me? 
At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. I do, I believe you. Um, you tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, I need be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Fine. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. He holds you carefully, delicately, until he strikes. It's like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. All right, that's enough. Wow, okay. Hmm? Oh, of course. That... That was... Amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel... Happy. Look forward to seeing you fight. I don't felt that felt wrong. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. You watch as he stalks towards the forest. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. Okay. But not try anything again. Oh, he wants to talk now. Good morning. How do you feel? Uh, I feel awful. We won't do that again. Neck hurts. How do you think I feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. Abide from them, and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Right. Any other drawbacks I should know about? Um, is that how you can walk in the sun? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Some of the rules, at least. I can enter homes uninvited, but running water still burns like acid. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. I suppose so. Uh, what's causing this mind flare parasites? If I, uh, if I can't help, just ask. Oh, if I can help, just ask. We're in this together. Figure them out quickly. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you are being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Yeah. A vampire among us. So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I understand. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Enough. We need him, like it or not. I trust him. He won't hurt us. If you don't like it, you can leave. He's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. Okay. Is that it? Is that it from everybody? Nobody else wants to talk? Cool. Let's leave camp. Whew. 
Okay. Let us now venture back inside to that not funness that was there. <laughs> My God, okay. Yep. Coming the twist flee. You feel it cry. Frustrated, the door rattled. You lay bleeding as she leans over you. Her teeth, a row of deadly needles, okay. shine as they dive into your throat. Blood spray. The door twitches, but stays firm. Roll. Yep, 12. You see the hang. She walks through the door. The lightest touch of hope washes your mind. The... Alright, thank you. And through we are. Right, here's hoping we can at least like get off a surprise Jump. did it did it pop off because that should have popped off before we entered combat oh my god of course it did of course it did And it's only Asterion's turn. Lovely. Let's see. What if I do this? And he gets pushed. Takes some extra damage. Oh god, what was what did they did she throw a rock at me? Oh god, was that a rock? Alright. Hey, what's this? Light oh it's light. Nope, 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 let's not do that. Let's do um mirror image. And for good measure. Take you. Come on. Can I not move any further? Okay. Of course it failed. And Azroth's turn. 72. 65. Critical miss? Really? How? Right, let's do a pushing attack, see if we can push them off. It worked! Good! He passed. Failed. Jesus. Okay. Um. 
Got it, got it, got it. Um. There we go. And he's just happy. He's just happy. I love that. Damn it! This magic tricks. All right, so and push. Okay, that's one, two, never mind. Alright, who's ne up next? I am. So, let's see. Jesus, really? Dead. Or maybe not. What is he at? He's at 11 hit points. Okay, and we're still on the sword attack. Did, did, did that hit? Did it not hit? What happened? That's weird. Keep passing, just keep passing. I need everybody to keep passing. Damn you. Dead, lovely. Had it. Wait, was that plus three? Or is that just plus three for uh, Asterion? Nope, nope. Can I jump up here? Nope, too high. Figured. Should have figured. This okay, and. Really? Of course, of course. Good, good, good. There we go. Damn. Shit, really? Oh my god. Um Jesus. I don't think I'm equipped to beat this. And oh no. Why can't I use help? That takes an act. Damn it. And I use my action to get up, basically. This magic oh god, I didn't even notice I went down again. I don't have anything to heal anybody. 
This is why I wanted to take the cleric feet for her. The cleric feet for her. Okay, shit. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I'm equipped to beat this. I really don't. I don't, so... <laughs> Fuck. So, I think... I think what we're gonna do... Is... Next time... We'll, um... We'll, we'll explore elsewhere and then come back to this. But, uh, fuck. I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, Citizens of the Empire. Uh, we still got Baldur's Gate 3 tomorrow, so I, I will see you then. So thank you so much. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.